Hey guys, I just had to make a real quick video here. Um, this is my uh, EAPG running. Um, right now I'm running on one, two, three of the six inputs. Um, these are all input from this battery. Uh, you can see these two leads here go up and input to this board. These go out and trigger a tran er, transistor behind here. Uh, these go to a trigger coil, which you can see on the first set. I'll just trace them down. They go to a trigger, co trigger coil, which would be uh, stator two, uh, A2. Actually, that's the power coil, and then the other one would go to stator two, and it should be three down below that, which would be stator two. got some of these hooked up in series, some of them hooked up in parallel. Um, they're really not, the, the unit is not designed to be hooked up that way, but uh, like a kid with a toy, I couldn't wait, so I uh, threw it together any old way I could there, just to get it up and running. Uh, currently it's running on 0 0.2 amps, and I'm not sure what the RPMs are, I can get a reading on that. here. It's not going to be real fast RPMs. I'm finding that um, speed does not equal over unity. Uh, looks like we got about 186 RPMs. So we're running very slow. Um, this thing started at 12 volts on the battery. It has the only battery on it. There's no capacitors on this right now. Uh, we do have a lot of rectifiers back here. If you can see them. That's half of the rectifiers that will be on it. I think I kind of figured out why this works so well. Is basically we're showing 0.2 amps going in here. But that's peak value. So we got 0.2 amps firing four times per revolution on one stator. I don't know how to do the math for that. But in return, we have 24 coils at less amps, but we got 24 pulses. charging this battery. The battery that it's running off of. So I believe the key to this whole thing is is I'm doing a few micro pulses in with tire amps. But I'm taking a whole bunch of micro pulses out. Which if you try to measure it, my peak on that's going to be by about 0 0.06, 0.07 on the output, but that is peak value and it's hitting it however many times we have circuits hooked up there. Uh, so anyways, I'm pretty excited, uh, it's just a tiny bit of uh, energy that we're making, but it is nevertheless charging the battery, doing the same as my little unit over there did. Um, not quite as efficient yet. Um, I believe I have some friction issues. You'll notice that this uh, shaft is uh, not turning at 186. Each one of these is only coupled, the uh, rotors are only coupled to each other uh, by uh, magnetic uh, fields. And then they are on freewheeling bearings. And I do have one very wobbly rotor. I'm not sure how that could come out like that on a CNC, but it did. So I'll be tearing it apart and uh, uh, replacing that with another rotor. The other ones are running pretty smooth. I'm going to 
gonna try to get this up here where we can see them. Um, there's a little wobble left to right, but they, they, they are true. Um, uh, as far as the um, circumference, um, this, this last one over here to the right is not even, uh, it, it's pretty far out. It's like a quarter of an inch for some reason. Um, doesn't really concern me at this time. Um, I was hoping this thing would kick up one mark there. It probably will as soon as I shut the camera off. Um, anyways, um, over about almost a half hour, um, it has brought that battery up quite a bit. Now it's up to 12.55. Um, anyways, I'm really excited about this. Uh, we've got a long ways to go. You can see the rest of this board for my um, rectifiers. Um, I am going to add ceramic capacitors to every out each output coil. Um, still going to do the push pull thing. Um, but anybody that is working with this kind of stuff, don't give up. I really believe this can be done. So, anyways. Stay tuned, catch me next time. I figured just as I turned the camera off, that thing would kick up, and it did. Uh, it's kicking up to 12.56. Uh, looks about four or five minutes before each change. Still sitting there running. So, anyhow, um, yay! So sure that the uh, law of uh, conservation of energy and thermodynamics is exactly right. I don't give a shit if they've been teaching it for 200 years and they can push their pencil math any way they want. There's more voltage in this battery than started out and that damn thing is running off of the battery. So somebody's either stupid or they're lying.